Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today, gonna be a match between Shuttle and Soma here on Fighting Spirit. Top right, we've got Shuttle. Bottom right, we got ourselves Soma. So a PBZ here on Fighting Spirit for you today for the uh, Patreon week of the cast. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin for at least $1 a month if you're watching this on Patreon.com the week of December the 15th. And if you're watching it in January, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I'm here five times a week with Brood War content. All right, man. So talking rectangles to each other is Shuttle versus Soma here today. <clears throat> I feel like Shuttle is favored in this matchup, but being favored does not mean that you're going to automatically win it. As a few, well, every single person who has ever competed in anything knows, right? Even, you know, Little League Baseball, Youth League Soccer, Junior League Hockey, uh, Chess Club, Esports Club, anything you're competing at, you could be favored and lose anyway. Anyways, what are we doing here today? Nothing much. Looks like a pretty darn standard Forge Fast Expand. Could go for a Gateway if he finds the Zerg player early and wants to kill him, but that's an overpool play. Here from Soma. So early Zealot Pressure not going to be as effective as if the Zerg player went for the hatch first. It's a gamble that you take as a Zerg on this four-player map is. If you get scouted early by a Protoss player who wants to Zealot attack you, going... Well, that is a Forge. Going for that hatch first play is a little bit risky. But you know what? The safest play and the closest thing to an economical play you can do without going hatch first is overpool. That's exactly what happened here. You get your hatch down, you know, about a minute later. Maybe less than that. Just a few seconds later here. Doesn't even try to block, interestingly enough. Shuttle's like, it's cool. Now I'm going to go for the scout off here and uh, scout and see what's going on. The answer is it's overpool with no gas and the hatchery's coming up back down this way. So it could, I mean, could feasibly, maybe, I don't know, try to throw down a fake cannon rush, maybe force Soma to re respond to it here, but at this stage, the pool's done, there's lings on the way, so any ability to get cannons up is just completely out the window right now. That is just not going, not going to happen. So, all right, Shuttle did this right, scouted the right direction, saw what's going on, recognizes how many cannons he needs to stay alive. He's going to keep a probe down around this direction. Maybe, oh, actually checking to see if there's a fast third rather than seeing the number of lings that are coming out. And dude, there are four. There are six. There are six lings coming across here. Or is it just five? What is this drone doing? Is this drone just hunting? I think... I don't know what that drone is doing around this direction at all. So yeah, there's a cannon up. Do you want two? Would you feel safer with two? Because there are more lings on the way. Is a run by but possible here. Not if the probe is blocking this hole. If the probe's not blocking the hole, maybe a run by into the main base is possible. How many lings can get in there? Are there enough to lings to actually threaten this number of probes? I don't rightly know. But look, it's 18 to 10 workers right now because of all the lings that are out from Soma. I don't like this play from him. It, as a Zerg player, if you make this many links, you get nothing done with it. You're just going to have a bad time. So the links, all right, they're going to go for that. Maybe, tr okay, try to jump on top of this cannon. The probes are fighting. The cannon is going to go down, but how many links survive that engagement? The answer is two. So, uh, cannon goes down. It has to get replaced. A couple probes die there too. I think maybe one. Now there's links running around and, oh, Another Zergling goes down, but oh, still fighting? Oh, man, this is so crazy. Second cannon comes up. Lings, the friend. Oh, nice body block there. And the Lings get killed. Yeah, I think that was held about as... Maybe not perfectly by shuttle, but you know what? Artosis says StarCraft is not about a, not a game about who makes zero mistakes. It's about the person who makes the fewest mistakes. They usually win this. Soma is just... He's Ling pressuring... Ling pressuring. Absolutely insane here. I don't like it from Soma. He is someone that we've seen who is able to make Mutaling really look incredible against Terran. But against Zerg, especially if the Zerg player, or against Protoss rather. No, you're no! Soma, no! Bad. Get back. Get back. <laughs> Zealot. Oh man. Zealot in the wall. Uh, and two cannons back here? No, start droning, sir. I demand you start droning now. 
Production tab says drone. All right, excellent. Good job. So I'm going to go for Mutas. Where my Stargate is at. Stargate had to get delayed, but he knows it's okay. Because he needed to get some stuff to stay alive against these lings. There's that Stargate coming in. And you know what? There's actually a bit of a window here to get Mutas out before Corsair production begins. Before Corsairs are out. And available. So that is interesting. Maybe that's what the intent was here. From Soma was to slow down the tech process of Shuttle. And see if he can maybe get an advantage with some Mutas out before the Corsairs get too, too big of a number. But that said, I mean, you can make four or going for Scourge. Oh, and some Mutalisks anyway. Ling's kink pop it in, see what's going on. Robotics facility on the way. He's worried about lurkers. He wants obs anyway, just to, for scouting purposes, but especially against lurkers. I don't know. So there's some Mutas that are going to be out and a pair of Scourge that are out before the first Corsair is even close to being out of the house here. So, hmm, do we have a defensive cannon? We do. A defensive cannon coming up in the main base. Shuttle knows what's up. Having that cannon to fall back to with your Corsairs if they're being chased by Scourge is very, very nice. And here we go. So he's going to cruise up. We scout. This is a scouting thing too, right? Scourge, anything could be a scout. It doesn't have to be an overlord. It doesn't have to be a Tom Sat scan. Like, there's options for all this stuff. And now that, oh, the Corsair can't hang around. Oh, I thought he could hit it. He thought he could hit it. Can these mutas kill this before? Oh my gosh, they can. It's one hit off. Dude, Soma. This is just such tight timing. What an absolutely insane build in the sky. This mutant needs to attack now. Oh my gosh. I, this is, I did not, I did not see this working. Under any circumstances that I see this working. Dude, there are so many resources being lost right now. So many being lost right now for shuttle. Okay, counterattack with Zealots, go! He can't have that many Zerglings or Sunkens if he went for this many units. Mutas have to stay home to defend, but uh, a lot of probes are just taking some residual damage here. Actually, they seem to be attacking. The bounces for the Glaive Worm seems to be going after the pylons instead. There we go, probe does go down. And now, okay, there are two Corsairs out. There is a shield battery here. Are you kidding me right now? Shield battery is doing pretty well for itself. Mutas are fighting. Zealots get held off thanks to the presence of the Mutas, mostly, as well as a handful of Zerglings. It's still 25 to 15 workers, though. Like, that's the trick here. Is, yeah, you've had Mutas in your face for a bunch of time here, which is bad, but you have a worker advantage because your Zerg opponent cut a lot of drones to make this happen. He's just throwing up cannon after cannon. What an absolutely crazy game. Finally, a Dragoon comes out, and that really should be enough to stop this. I mean, the Mutas, I think they just took down a Corsair. More cannons, more cannons, more cannons. Dragoons, that Overlord's gonna die. It is 15 workers for Soma. This is aggressive Zerg. This is absolutely aggressive Zerg. Man alive. The problem with aggressive Zerg is that if you don't do enough damage, you just die later because aggressive Zerg means no economy Zerg is the play here for the Zergs. They could be very aggressive, but it hurts the economy to do so because you have to choose whether you want to make workers or whether you want to make attacking units. Oh, man. I like what Soma's... I mean, his control is pretty good here. Jeez, Shuttle's just able to be like, nah, I'm just going to keep making cannons. I don't care how many die. He was probably canceling those too, wasn't he? He was probably getting a beautiful cancel at the very last second when those Mutas were attacking these cannons when they were coming up. So... I mean, I, I mean, he's, he's three drones thing at a time here. Shuttle's just casually at 27 workers and two bases. He's producing Stargate units nonstop, specifically Corsairs. Obviously not scouts. Uh, he's getting a macro hatch. A third base would be super cool, but my gosh. Soma's like, I can't win late game versus Shuttle, which you know what? I might agree with you on that one, good sir. I really might. This is this is shuttle we're talking about. He's gonna have storm. He's gonna have a reavers. He's gonna have archons, right? He's gonna be able to just deal with anything you can throw at him. Late game shuttle against a zerg is extremely terrifying. And I I appreciate the effort. I really do, but I just don't see it working. Yeah, I mean, these meters are taking splash damage. When they're stacked up to do the extra 
you know, centralized damage here, it means they're vulnerable to Corsairs. There's a reason that Corsairs were given splash damage instead of just, like, really a lot of damage versus light targets. Hydralisk Den coming in. There's your third base at 6 o'clock, interestingly enough. Not as far away. I just don't think you can get through here. There's too many cannons. Like, we're at the point where you need a lot of lings to get through this. And if you just don't have a lot of lings, you need Dark Swarm, which we're very far away from at the moment. So maybe Hydra's, maybe recognizing... Well, that is the Templar Archives. Recognizing nothing. Storm is not too far away. I'm not sure that you're going to want to make Hydra's here either. Shuttle's just absolutely playing this excellently. So third base pop in for Soma is a good thing. He's getting Overlord speed. DT is coming in from Shuttle. Intriguingly. So Corsair DT in it quite possibly here. Static defense would be amazing, but Soma does not have the drones or the economy to go for a lot of static defense here. Even one sunken at each base would be really good. But he's just spending out on macro hatches. He's trying to catch up economically, and he's doing a pretty good job. 32 to 38 workers on three bases feels pretty comfortable versus a Protoss player. But, I mean, he's trying to keep the Protoss at home so he doesn't move out with these Corsairs. The Scourge have just not connected on anything today. I don't think I've seen them kill a Corsair yet, which is just a testament to how good Shuttle is at this game of StarCraft. Additional gateways coming in here, too. This is a great PVZ. This is a really, really good PVZ, man. All right. Actually, Scourge got a... a I think they killed one Corsair there, but the rest of them went down. That was not a good trade at all and how the mute is hurt as we are outnumbered two to one by corsairs that seems really bad let's get out of here there's that storm research popping in just now in the production tab got a bunch of hydras protecting the overlords because they know that the potential of corsairs showing up and trying to kill those is very high right now <laughs> since you know all of those all of those scourge died and replacing them is really expensive he's spending his money well, being supply blocked on Hydras at the moment. Working on range upgrade for said Hydras. Better for defending Overlords with. But, still two bases. Like, as long as Shuttle doesn't have three bases, I kind of like where Soma is right now. His Hydra attack, he's got a window here where Storm is just not done yet. Where this could be pretty awesome for Soma. Dude, Soma is honestly... He's bringing Overlords with him because he knows DTs are potentially a threat right now. So the Hydras are going to show up with range, and I think they're probably going to at least get this forge in this gateway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're staying out of a range of the cannons, so they're going to get the forge in the gateway. The upgrade finishes. So plus one attack, four gateway units is done, but that is a dead gateway. That is a dead forge. And actually trying to kill these Overlords without losing all of the Corsairs there. A bit of a mistake, I think, maybe from shuttle dude that pylon right there all of those cannons die if that pylon dies but he has to deal with the zealots too he has to deal with the storm that's now arrived all right so shuttle withstands withstands the assault stays alive uh, this pylon is literally powering everything at this natural base it's an artosis pylon to the nth degree i mean not to the nth degree it's a basic artosis pylon he didn't hit that once, did he? I don't know if he... I don't... He, maybe he couldn't... Can he see all the way back here? He doesn't know. I don't think he he knows that is what it is. It's an Artosis Pylon because he doesn't have full vision like I do. That's something we really have to keep in mind is... Being able to see the whole map is considered a hack in StarCraft for a very specific reason, and that is it. It's because being able to see the entire map at once is insanely overpowered. And means you know when to attack, where to attack, how to attack, and just... Instead of, is there another pylon back here you don't know about? You don't know about it, right? So you don't risk going for the Artosis pylon, or maybe he just didn't notice. So this is scary. It's 97 to 69 supply. It's just Hydras. There's no Lurkers at all. No Sunkins at all. The Hydras are trying to find High Templar to snipe, but the Zealot's pulling back to deal with them. This is very problematic. Hydras are trying... The positioning is good if it was just Zealots and Archons, but there are High Templar here, and as a result, this is going to be extremely hard to hold for Soma. There you go. Gets that storm in that little hidey hole. Even... I mean, honestly, even with the positioning here, these Zealots are just going to town. 
Beautiful storm secondary there. Drone count is actually higher than Protoss right now. This is an attempt to win off a of two base from Shuttle. He's not getting a third base behind this at all. Oh, Lurker burrows in. Oh my gosh, he just barely got a Lurker in. A more Lurkers popping in here. Drones are getting target fired by Zealots. Hydras are going down by the dozens right now. Zealots are just getting into the main base if they can. Which, oh, a Lurker goes down. Okay, what was that? I don't know. Splash damage, maybe. Zealot down, Zealot down, Zealot into the main base. And he's got three kills. Does he get a fourth? No, another attack into the third base at the same time. This might just get an epic tag for how absolutely nonstop it has been. This started with an overpool and ling pressure against shuttle and then into mutilisk pressure that never really ended into hydra pressure into an immediate counter attack from shuttle here are 15 minutes into this match i don't know who's going to win shuttle has more supply there's a decent economy here from soma he's got the lurker tech that he needs but how far is he from dark swarm and from plague very far indeed are you gonna beat shuttle without those things past the 15 minute mark of a pvz i don't know that you are i, I feel like it is possible but is it likely? And based on my experience, no. Not likely. Dude, burrow those. Burrow those lurkers before they die. Okay, so one lurker goes down. Two get into pretty decent burrow position. At least they're pushing this back a little bit. Lurkers just make zealots a little bit less effective than they otherwise are. Zealots are incredible. <laughs> until lurkers show up. And it's kind of the same thing with mutas, right? Mutas are amazing until Corsairs show up. Oh, he's trying to get a third base. That's not happening. But the counterattack of Zealots and Archons down to the third base of Soma, which is entirely undefended. The army has to come back. They need to come back now. Lurker at the front door. Remember when I was like, he's getting a robotics facility for detection? That's not actually happening. He does manage. Can he Lurker egg this thing? Can he Lurker egg this one? He does. He Lurker eggs the ramp. The Hiders are able to come in from the backside. Dude, Soma, are you kidding me right now? The absolute sick clutch plays on offense and on defense. Archon gets sniped by Hiders. Hiders are pretty good about that. They've got the plus one attack. Observers coming out from shuttle. He's like, I just need, I just need detection. These lurkers are all what is keeping me from victory right now. If I can easily kill the lurkers, which I can, if I can see them, it's all going to be good. This is so much Hydralisk, though. 42 to 38 total workers. Third base denied. We saw that previously on the X-Files. Ooh, plus one armor coming up here for the Zerg. It's plus one attack for the Protoss, but having 1-1 one, one here for the Hydras is pretty good. So Lurkers burrow in, but Storm is great. Also, there's an Observer now. So this is where it gets, this is where Zerg needs his own spellcasting to win. Dude, sniping the OBS, sniping the OBS would be sick. Okay, OBS down. Another OBS down, look at this, OBS down. Oh shoot, is that all of his detection? I think that's all of his detection. But he's also out of lurkers on his side, so maybe not a huge priority. He's trying to make some of the front, but then Dragoon's blasted the wizard away because they're pretty good at that. Archons too. Big swings against eggs and trying to kill those. I don't know what this drone is doing as part of this army exactly, but another base would be, oh my gosh, denying that one too. Surround up from Soma. Storm right side, left side. Archon just blah, blah. 94 to 78 supply, a desperate hold right now from the purple Zerg player. Soma. Can he hold against this onslaught? The answer is not looking good. I'm going to give him like about a 30% chance of maybe pulling this off, but it is looking super bad. Throwing up desperation static defense at the natural base. Ooh, he's got a fourth base though. If he can hold on to a fourth base for a couple of minutes... Get that economy going, and Shuttle can establish his own third. Dude, look at how mined out this main base is, and now he's going to mine out the natural really fast. I don't know if he has the time to hang out. I mean, we need to get there before Dark Swarm shows up. And by that, I mean Dark Swarm is far away. There's no Queen's Nest. There's no Hive. It's Queen's Nest, and then it's Hive, and then it's Defiler Mound, and then it's Consume, and then it's Dark Swarm. There are like four different steps from this point to get to Dark Swarm for Zerg. It's a good spell, but it is so buried in the tech tree, and that's kind of the point. So just trying to mass Hydra this thing. He's not actually worried about Lurkers because he knows the Dragoons are here and they're really good against Lurkers. The Storm is the answer though. Mass Hydra would be able to handle this fairly well, except for the presence of the Storm, which is buried under a level of what? Pylon, Gateway, Cybercore. Citadel of a Dune, Templar Archives, Research Storm. So that's six total steps from step zero. And Dark Swarm is what? Spawning Pool, Lair, 
Queen's Nest Hive Defiler amount. So it's six Swarm. So it's the same amount of steps. Zerg players just get it later because of they want to don't want to tech up as fast as Protoss generally does. Okay, third base coming in from Shuttle. That's ginormous. Fourth base done from Soma. That is also Trebian. Also very, very big here. Lurkers going for a bit of a a little bit of a run by harass play, but I mean eh, there's detection, there's dragoons. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work, but it did pull shuttle back, which counts for something. Oh, Soma, pretty good Zerg player, as we can see here. He competes very well. He's done a lot of good things on the channel. He's qualified for ASL, I think, at least a couple times now. Shuttle's just he is more accomplished, but in any one match, anything can happen. It's just we're so far. We are so far away from getting the tech, and this could just be an intentional strategy. Out of Soma, does it feel like he has time to get up to that tech? Maybe he doesn't, and so he's not going to try. But also, we've seen Zerg players try to go for this whole Hydra Lurker thing against Protoss, and then it's just it's Storm and it's Reavers all day, and then it doesn't work. Sometimes it has worked, some more of the time it hasn't worked. And this looks pretty intense. 111 to 62 total supply. Third base coming up. Sunken trying to get some free hits off there. There's an observer just to make sure this specific lurker goes down. And it is just not enough army for the Zerg player. What's he making? He's making overlords so he's not supply blocked. Because a lot of overlords have gone down. And that's your GG. Soma has left the game and Shuttle is your winner in 21 minutes and 43 seconds. An absolutely fantastic Patreon match. I mean, that was non-stop. There really was. There were a couple breathers in there, but for the most part, for a Brood War game especially, it started fast, it continued fast. The harassment was insanely good. Wow. Yeah, man, it really came down to Soma going for that early Ling Muta stuff and not getting enough done. If you can wipe out this entire mineral line with those Mutas, sure, that's worth it. But killing, I don't know, two, three probes, maybe? Once that was over, it was still a massive worker lead, and they had to spend the time to get catch up or get caught up with his own workers, and that slowed down his own tech and his own ability to make uh, attacking units. His third base was late. His fourth base was late. Never really came into play here today either. And yeah, once it is a Storm Zealot Dragoon style army, um, it's just hard. It is hard for Lurker Hydra to deal with it, and that's all he had. Dark Swarm would have helped immensely, obviously. Plague would have helped immensely, obviously, but he never even came close to it. And then that was it. He was forced to tap out. I mean, he defended very well. I think Shuttle really did try to kill him on two bases and couldn't do it. And was forced to go for a third base and then try to come back later and do it. And he did. So 138,000 points there for Shuttle. 111,000 points for Soma. Ended up killing a 2 to 1 ratio here. And yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Pro outproduced the Protoss by 2 to 1. And then Protoss killed the Zerg by a ratio of about 2 to 1, if not more. Structure is raised way more by Soma, but again, Zerg players don't have as many buildings, so it's a little misleading. And a lot of those were cannons in the early stage that didn't make a whole ton of a difference. And then, yeah, 33 both players spent about the same number of resources. And if you're going to try to take down Shuttle as a Zerg player in a 20-minute game, if you spend the same number of resources that Shuttle does, you're just going to lose. You're just going to die. That's all there is to it. It is that simple. So well done by Soma. I think he put up an, a valiant effort, but Shuttle just too good. Too good on defense, too good on offense, too good on macro, too good on teching up. His storms are... Mm, chef's Kiss placed beautifully throughout that match, and he gets the win. So that right there is going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.